Hi, I'm Dwayne Ballin. Welcome to the show. Mike Rucker is a former NFL defensive lineman who now is a very successful businessman and philanthropist. In nine seasons in his NFL career, he played for the Carolina Panthers. During that time, he played in the Super Bowl and earned Pro Bowl honors. After retirement, he chose to live in the Carolina area and makes his home now in Charlotte. When we caught up with him, it was at the Providence Country Club where we shared a round and a couple of laughs. Now, being an elite, elite athlete, you're accustomed to mastering a sport. Mm -hmm. So did you anticipate just how funny that little white ball would be? You know, that, that is something that is, um, I did not. I thought, you know, when you watch it on TV that, you know, hey, these guys that get up there oh, and they, yeah. they hit Nothing the ball. And, you know, th their ball might go a, a little bit out the way, but, you know, they make a good recovery. It's not that hard, you know? And so when I jumped on it for the first time, I played my first 18 holes, not captain's choice, not using the best <laughs> ball. I was like, oh my gosh, this, this is this is tough. How many balls you know? did you use that day? Well, I would say on the first nine, I probably went through about three sleeves. So um, th that caught my attention really quick. That this is This is a tough game. Topic one of our conversation was the NFL's current labor strife. Both sides have to be careful of some of the finger pointing that's going on and maybe just get the thing done so the fans uh, are happy. I do feel in my gut that uh, there will be football this year, but we never know. Are the owners trying to break the union? I don't know. I don't know if you would say that it's break the union. I think that they're businessmen. Um, and I think if you go across any small, large business owner, um, you have to do stuff to keep your business viable. And um, times have changed. You know, what, what was going on 10 years ago is totally different in the last two, three years. So each side wants to have the best deal. Hi, I'm Dwayne Ballin. Welcome to Sports Business Center. The NFL is not happy with the recent ruling that will allow Michael Vick to keep $16.5 million in bonuses. In fact, the league wants District Judge David Doty, who handed down the decision, to be removed from any further oversight in NFL cases. League owners claim the Minneapolis-based judge is biased in favor of the Players Union. Doty has been ruling on NFL labor matters for two decades. The NFL will file legal documents against him on May 7th. The New York Giants may have won the Super Bowl, but the Dallas Cowboys can lay claim to another NFL title, that of most valuable franchise. Forbes magazine has dubbed Dallas King of the NFL Monetary Hill. Propelled by a deal for a new facility slated to open in 2009, Jerry Jones' organization has a value of $1.5 billion that not only leads the NFL, but makes Dallas the world's most valuable professional sports franchise. I'm Dwayne Ballin. As you well know, Miles Brand died recently, losing a valiant battle with cancer and leaving the NCAA looking for a leader and many questions to answer. To discuss that and many other things revolving around college athletics, we bring in our senior SBT college analyst, Dr. Richard Southall, executive director of the College Research Sport Institute at the University of North Carolina. Dr. Southall, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, first, glad to be here. First of all, when we talk about Miles Brand and possible success, there's a lot of names running around. Michael Adams is kind of at the top of the list, University of Georgia. Tell us about some of those candidates and what you think. Well, I think Michael Adams at University of Georgia is a uh, really good candidate. He's, he's, he's with the Power Conference School, which is, is one of the elements that I think needs to uh, be looked at. Mary Sue Coleman, president of the University of Michigan, a Big Ten school. She sat on a number of NCAA committees. The question begs, how much longer can this continue? John Calipari at Kentucky signs an amazing contract to coach basketball. Now we know that Ed O'Bannon, the former basketball player at UCLA, and Sam Keller, former football player at Nebraska, they both have bought lawsuits with compensation for student athletes at yeah. the core of it. When is this finally gonna to bubble to the surface? Well, as, as the industry continues to grow, and right now, the college sport industry is um, estimated to be somewhere between a four and six billion dollar a year industry. 